so I wanted to talk about this evening I went to the gym right y'all went to the gym and I'm so grateful it was time to go because I had a moment of I was feeling in my emotions thinking about the fact that I have regrets like I do feel at times regret for going to the court even though I know I'm still married until death I do not like the fact that I did not know better at the time that bothers me that I was so naive so unwise um, to the Word of God that I can say still bothers me and tonight was one of those evenings where I got really sad um, because I feel if I would have known better I would have not gone into the court system like I said the court system is not for anybody really um, especially in your marriage that is not of God it puts you against your spouse that is not of God um, but I wanted to do this video to prove to you not that I need to the Bible is very clear it doesn't have to prove anything anything to anyone it's true we know in scripture that marriage is into what death read first uh, Corinthians chapter 7 verse 39 also it's stated in Romans I believe it's chapter 7 verse 2 in fact read verse 3 when it talks about adultery okay if you put away your wife or your husband you are committing adultery if you marry another you commit adultery and you will not inherit the kingdom of God okay this is Bible this is not what I have to say is what God's word says okay let me just say that first this is God's word so you either gonna believe it or go to hell so yeah so tonight I was at the gym and I got down or whatever and it, it came to me that how you know how dare me even file the papers and again I didn't want the divorce um, this was my husband's choice to put me away I've tried to reconcile he doesn't want to reconcile in fact now he's gotten where he manipulates it and he says like well because I filed the papers look at that I filed the papers so now he's manipulated the situation despite the fact that he left and doesn't want to come back but anyway that's a whole nother thing so anyway um I thought about me and how I was unforgiven like how dare I go to the courthouse and again like I said I didn't know the Word of God like I should have but I still went down there and um now I'm looking back like wow how dare I do that I was being unforgiven you know I should have been long-suffering um, and we are supposed to be long-suffering even in our walk with Christ he is long-suffering to us right now as we wait upon the Lord we're supposed to be long-suffering in our daily walk we're supposed to deny ourselves pick up our cross we're supposed to be long-suffering in our marriages so by going to the court, how are you being long-suffering? You're giving up on your spouse. You're giving up on your husband. You're giving up on your wife. And you're not being forgiven. You, I mean, you're not forgiving your spouse. You're being unforgiving. And the Bible tells us to forgive. So you're going to tell me that's of God? Going to the court? When he tells us to forgive, he's forgiven us of our sins. He came on earth. Jesus died on the cross. Our Lord and Savior for our sins. He has forgiven us. And we can't forgive our spouses. We can't forgive our husbands. We can't forgive our wives. Are you going to tell me that going to the court to get a divorce document, decree, is of God? No, it's not. No, it's not. And don't talk about Moses. We are under Jesus' laws, okay? We what did the what did Jesus say to the Pharisees? He brought them back to the beginning, to Genesis 2:24, where the man and the woman become one flesh. 
one flesh. Marriage is until death, and you're one flesh until death. So there's your proof, if that's what you want to call it. Like I said, you don't. I don't have to say proof because the, the word is true. But if you're going to get a divorce decree paper, a little paper, number one, you're still married. And number two, it just shows you that you still have sin on you of unforgiveness. You're not even long-suffering. So please don't go by what the world does. Go by what Jesus says to do, which is deny ourselves, pick up our cross. If you are still in your covenant marriages, pray for your husband and wife every day. Pray together. If you're in remarriages, you need to repent. If you're committing any sin, you need to repent because you will not inherit the kingdom of God with unrepented sin. God bless you all. And I also just wanted to briefly add to the video this came to me after I ended the video you know how some people go to court and they put in reconcilable differences which is no such thing there's no such thing there is no such grounds to get a divorce for such thing anyways I'm gonna prove to you about that again let's read here what God says in his word let's look at verse let's start at verse um, 10 and on to the married, I command, yet not I, but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband. But, and if she depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband and let not the husband put away his wife. Do you see the word reconciled? God is telling you to remain unmarried or reconcile. So how are y'all going to court talking about irreconcilable differences and an unjust judge is stamping and giving you the okay on this where God did not even approve that. There's no such thing. We already know as we look further, okay? If we look at the end of chapter seven, as I stated to you, the wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. But if her husband be dead, she is at liberty to be married to whom she will only in the Lord. 